Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to another Hunk Epic 3rd. Today we're going to continue The Day You Vanish with the Stars, which is pretty interesting story they have, but again, it's a little boring because there's no voiceover, other ambient for the background. So sometimes it's just a quiet, that kind of stuff if there's no narrator stuff. Oh, no, actually, I read every single of that, and also we are on timeline number 3. I will call it timeline or stars line, whatever you call, but as soon as I'm done charging Tesla, we'll straight away go there. And also the EX just have reward, don't have story, so don't need to worry about that one. So without further ado, let's just... Let me charge her, shall we? I got the paper and the flower, and with that, she'll be maxed out. Or no, actually, I think I need to do one more. No, I don't. Alright. There you go. There you go, star line number 3. So with a further ado, beast plan and persuasion. F4, okay, I cannot read that. I never have chance to read that. But yeah, why didn't Voy and the aiding troop all went missing? What happened to them? So yeah, last time, the troop went missing and they thought that we or the uh, Rita's faction do that or kidnap their troops, but we actually don't. There's no other stuff we can say to them to actually, I don't know, make them believe us. Instead, coming just take it. Coming just, yeah, the fan Rita is faction, not the fan Rita is faction actually. The fan, uh, her territory, or yeah, in the past Rita is faction. But, instead, coming like, just sacrifice herself. So, with Miss Arafis' robotic voice ringing in my ears, my consciousness had drifted freely in the twilight zone. I felt as if I, I was soaking in hot spring, but very soon, the pleasure was brutally end by someone slapping my face. Won't you look at that? Who is it? I just got slapped in the face. My eyes opened to find machete is point dangerously close to my nose. Oh, it is ma machete. Hey, who are you? Time traveler. I mean, I'm just passing by. Stay clear of this place. War is coming and things are gonna get nasty. Why are we pointing the machete then? What? The shiksha emblem on the soldier armor almost gave me a heart attack. Thank goodness they soon left me alone. Not far, not far from where I stood, the shiksha and jerbudurudu soldier were marching toward Moon Embrya. The twins are little devil that won't go down easy. Maybe something big happened on their way? But one puzzle after another, somehow, I felt finding them was the key to putting together all the puzzle pieces. And also, as soon as we say that, literally the time or Tesla react and we got teleport here. So it seems like Tesla actually know where the thing went wrong or not Tesla actually, like the system where it went wrong and we just have to say it. If it's right, we got teleport. If it's not, then it's failed. I went onward Bort Valley. It's a pen rarely torn upon, save for a few months of trail. After a long while, I finally reached the valley. Based on Rita's intel, this is where everything began to fall apart. In the embrace high cliff, waterfall poured down. On the ground, a mess of wind, winding track led to darkness. Keep walking, finally spot something, some rubble, a military lamp, and a pack. I was about to check the pack when I saw something move in the corner. L Lilia? It turned around and something in hell fell to the ground. C Captain? You didn't make it back? Why are you here? It's a long story. Coming's formation went wrong. Why are you here? There's a lot of monster in this cave and I am trapped here. Oh, where's Rosalia then? Monsters? I mean to ask more, but I suddenly caught a glimpse of some weird looking monster rearing their heads. That's them. I fought them off many times, but they always came back. Like there's demon on the other side. I cannot kill them all, and I cannot drive them away. I never leave this cave now. Uh, why? They found us. Or wait, they found us. Why did I say what? Our eyes met the monsters, and they began to charge at us immediately. Right before it's too late, I yanked Lilia to the side. The monster couldn't stop and bumped into the wall. Nice. The cave trembled heavily and crushed stone began to rain down. Run, my girl! And then we fought the monster. Wait, only you? Alright, no, only Lilia. So interesting, Lilia is stuck in this cave while fighting monster. But where is Rosalia? And why also you are alone? We know last time Kongming summoned them to this world, right? At the same time, that is... How do you say? Uh, in a cave? But 
I don't think Kongming will actually, I don't know, leave them here. And also actually don't know how to use her, so... Yeah. What is this? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot about that. Maybe I need to wait next time. I forgot how to use her. Slap. Mm -hmm. Slap. You in the face. Okay, that is... This is taking a while. Oh, that does not work. Another strange monster. I did not read that one. Okay, should, I shouldn't have paused it. Alright, I forgot there's also a story whenever I doing this stuff. That's why... I didn't read what did Lilia just say, so... What is it suddenly? It's a shield. Oh, I remember it now. It's what people call... It has super tough skin. You won't be able to damage it, so... We have to do something. This work. Oh, that must hurt. That, that, that must hurt. Oh, I know. The head is the weak point. Oh, I see. Attack its head, Captain. Even though you are the one that is actually doing that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I like when someone say that, but... They're the one that's doing it. That is cute. I like cute stuff. Would you look at that? Phew, we are safe now. The monster didn't catch up. By the way, why are you here? Yeah, that's my question. Why? I got separate from the Shikshul soldier. That is it? You sure know how to skip all the important parts though. Oh fine, I'll start with the beginning. After you got to Kongming's formation, right? I don't know what happened, but I was sent to Shikshul. Rosai, the, the Kongming, and Captain, you're all gone. I saw the Elizabeth and Ed that said, Trended a month with food and shelter. So I signed up and got sent to Embria. On our way, we found some villagers chased by monsters. We want to save them, but more monsters came and we split up. And also, so the Shikshul soldier are still alive? Yeah, should be. Maybe there's a trap at the other place. Alright, the messenger from Embraer is also with them. We walked to a cave as we talk. All of a sudden, some soft noise came from the right ahead. Is it monsters? I don't know how to say this, but I'm guessing that's Rosalia. Nah, it's slap sound. Maybe someone's playing mud? Eh? Lilia? Is that you, Lilia? Yup, it's Rosalia. The next second, something in the dark popped out and grabbed Lilia. Rosa, uh, I thought you are... You, you are hurting me, so I'm going to be dead. Captain is here too, great! Okay, Rosalia, why are you here? Yup, I'm about to ask that as well. A lot of monsters in this cave and I am trapped here. Mm hmm Sounds like Lilia all of a sudden. I fought them off many times, but they always came back. Like there's something terrible on the other side. I cannot kill them all and I cannot drive them away. I'm never leaving this cave now. Can you help me? I don't have any power to This sounds familiar. Alright, <laughs> I got it now. Okay, yeah, both of them sounds familiar. Literally the story. Nothing different at all. Let go now. Oh, it seems like Rosalia's Still hug Lilia. It would be nice if we can actually see that, but Ooh, uh... let go, Rosa. You ha your hand are full of mud. Stay away from me. Why are you playing with mud? Oh right, come check out my stove. You call the slum of mud a stove? That's what I learned in German. Super useful. Rosalia, you haven't told us why you are here. I am now the second biggest boss in German. I came with thousands of brothers for some serious business. Oh, oh! it seems like Lilia on Shikshel and uh, Rosalia on the other one, the German. I don't know how to say it or pronounce it, so yeah. There's nothing compared to me, I'm Shikshel General. Both of you just stop it. The Crosshair Queen gave me her treasure. Let me find it. Ta-da! Universal Compass. Looks like it made of brass. And totally soft. Pretty much useless now. Um, even without a compass, the great Rosalia can always tell directions. That is a lie. I don't believe it's same. Agree? Well, I believe neither of you... Right. Where are the German soldiers? I got separated. Right. Oh, that's a surprise. <laughs> that is a surprise. It's like you two were following the... The same script. We were about to save Kongming, but we ran into some villager whose village was taken by monsters. But there were too many of these monsters we couldn't beat them. We got trapped here and there's no way out. How did you guys get in here first though? The twins being here mean... The other soldiers are not far either. Only a matter of time before we find them, but... Fragers and monsters. Pretty much the same story told by Lilia before. 
Rosalia and Lilia, do you still remember what the villagers look like? Um, no? But the leader was a man in black. Um, no. But the leader was a man in... Thank you for the information! Oh, right then. That's the same information. Are you two messing with me? Anything special about this leader? Special? He looks super ordinary. Oh, he was holding a black umbrella. Uh, it's the world serpent. On a nice and sunny day. Lilia don't say the same stuff. Um, the villager I saw had no umbrella and they looked normal too. Never mind, I give up. You are not giving me much. But I can tell something isn't right. Um, I'll tell you later. Follow me, I'll take care of you. I mean, I'll take you out of here. I mean, I'll take you out of here. Huh? What are you two doing in the corner? Chom, chom, chom. Uh, huh? Hold on, don't eat anything unclean. Wait, it's super yummy. You wanna bite out that? What is that? Hey, get this black thing off my face. Huh? It smells... Is it sweet potato? Yeah, it's a teeny weeny burn. But the taste is still awesome. Your face is scary. Rosa only back too. That is not enough. Okay, both of you can just eat. I'll just leave with... Empty stomach. That's because the tiny stuff can only back two at a time, Captain. Give yours to Lily. Wait, what? Captain, give yours to Lily. Wait, wha what? Why will there be sweet potato? Where did you find them? And also, why did you give me at the first place? There is plenty over there. Just dig up a bit of soil and you'll find them. What are you doing, Lily? Oh, that's the reason why uh, Rosalia's hand is full of a mud. She is actually digging for food. Don't dig up my sweet potato. I found them. Uh, it's mine now. Let's bag them. Be careful, the monster might smell it and come. Come fight me. Uh, vodka or master? Winner takes all. Uh, both of you, vodka, typhoon, winner... Uh, none of them is listening. Push now, monster are coming. Rosa, you brought the monster here. Oh my god, stop fighting. All right then. <laughs> Wait, can I... Come on, both of them are here. Why am I only using Rosalia? Well, again... Wait, can I actually use Rosalia? I don't remember. Hey, Rosalia's here. How do you use? Um, the same? No, it's different actually. Try my banana peel trap. You... Wait, how did you found a banana all of a sudden? I almost fell. Okay, you throw that to your twin. Oh, that is the banana peel I did not see. You think I'll try to snatch my sweet potato, Lily? I don't like your sweet potato. Oh, I see Rosalia is actually fighting with us. I did not realize that at first. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and the banana peel. Can I actually sleep? I can. Oh my gosh, I cannot control. Oh my gosh, I cannot control myself. Help. If I press uh, left, it go to the right. If I go right, it go to the left. I shouldn't have tried it. Also, it's just like they, both of them are fighting, but instead the one that got hurt is the monster. Good, good. But stop hurting each other. If now they are not... Uh... What is your charge effect? Is that... Universe Ring, activate. Will that actually hurt me? Stop it, trap me. Yep, it will. And also, how did you summon a Universe Ring? What? Uh, somehow I dodged that. Mm -hmm. Not on purpose, but... Anything want to fight me? I think I need to stand as far uh, away from Lilia, cause... Yeah, so far the attack from Lilia, or if there's, I don't know, a dialogue... That means I will be in danger. So I need to be very, very careful. And also I just realized, whoa, if it bop, okay, that will hurt me. Ouch. My... Stay away from my sweet potato. Still fighting over sweet potato, really. I did not realize you actually do that. Wait, what? Okay, stop. I will get burned. Can I get a shield again, please? I'm about to say I didn't realize uh, Rosella actually got a shield. Wait, do Lily have a shield? I don't think so. Come on. More monsters are coming. I love... We better run. Oh, I see that's the danger meter when I spin. Let me dig some more sweet potato before we leave. Yeah, food came first, right? Wait, you are flying with your sword? Interesting. Wait, what? Oh, we finally made it out. Are you alright? How many sweet potato do you have? 
Rosella and Lilia lay still on the ground and gave me no reply. Ah, none. Hey, Rosalia, Lilia, are you alright? I'm starving. Yeah, both of them are starving and I don't think sweet potato is no stamina left, cannot move a finger now. One sweet potato is not even an appetizer. At least it's a something better than nothing. I didn't bring my stuff and I cannot beg more now. Uh, we are on desert, just leave it there and it should be cooked. No, don't do that. It's... I'm just joking. Get up. I'm sending you back to the Ark Imperator and Corsair Queen. How about this? I know a place where you can eat to your heart is content. <laughs> On hearing the word eat, Rosalia and Lila sprung up like a pair of freshly infected zombies. Why did you describe it like that? Where is it? I can still walk. It's not too far away. Moon Embrya. When we arrived, only a handful of soldiers stood guard at the gate, and sorrowful, Zitherton echoed in the city. Wait, are we too late? We found Kong Ming lost in her thought behind the cedar. She didn't even notice us until we came close. Captain, you... I knew you were easily on me. Wait, what happened? I saw you run over the cliff and I couldn't find anything left behind you. I had to think that you... Oh, this is actually before Kong Ming... If we actually did not get time travel over this part, the next part is, yeah, the previous or the part 2 or where Kong Ming really fought them. You can rest your worries now. I promise you to look after myself. Didn't I? Right? Captain, you are a reckless fool. Thank you for telling me that. Wow. Okay, they are eating. <laughs> Wake up, Rosalia. There's no sweet potato left. Are you biting your fingers? Rosalia and Lilia? After we disappeared, were you seeking them too? I'm starving. I can eat two horse. First, I am actually one kind of a horse. Uh, um, second, don't eat me, please. Third, they ran to monster and got trapped in valley near the German and Embria border. We are in, uh, yeah, we are in war, and the best we have now is our emergency food supply. Two big steam buns, twenty small ones, and fried oat stick. Is this enough? That should do, and also they will eat all of them. I simply ignore the silent scream from Rosalia and Lilia. We are safe. Following Kong Ming is the rightest choice. Kong Ming, we saw many Shiksha and German soldier on the way. Are they... They believe we have held their missing troop and thus allied to fight us. We cannot hold them off. I have told Rita and Teresa to evacuate the citizen, but I didn't foresee your return. For you guys that didn't know, yeah, in this world there is actually Teresa. Look like Kong Ming, but not Kong Ming. If you're confused, you may or may not need to look back at uh, the previous chapter. Not chapter actually, previous story or previous part. Forgive me for being blunt, but call me. If you have some strategy to fend them off, now is the time to use it. Captain, what do you mean? Your intention is obvious. You plan to guard the empty city along against thousands of armed and angry soldiers. Yeah, we again came from the future, so it's like... Yeah, we, we know what... Is your plan. It's the only way. No, it's not the only way. Well, there must be other option you have considered. Yes, as you said, I do have another strategy. With the capital under siege, what is keeping you from acting decisively? You should know that nothing outweighs life. I know, and I also know mine is not the only life that matters. If the price for saving the city is thousands of innocent lives, would you still choose to follow through? I don't make me... Okay, my decision is final. I do have formation to annihilate every human being around the city, but I for a second. Taking thousands of life hostage might compel the besiegers to retreat, but it will only justify their invasion. And also, no, they will not retreat. In the end, you will... Uh, so this is the only way. No, it's not! In the setting sun, Komi overlooked the vacant city with her mouthful but determined eyes. All went quiet. And even the twins gulping down their food felt something and raised their heads. I looked into their confused eyes. Kong Ming, I may have a way to avoid the kingdom conflict. Hmm? German and Shishel fade us because of the Huodo explosion. Snow melt and sea form in the snow nation. Ocean recede and land rose in the pirate heaven. But the beast is not Embrya's fault. And they fight us because they believe Embrya deferred the damage to them. We don't know if it's an easy excuse. Uh, for them to justify the invasion. 
or a true conviction of Friday's revenge. But the spark that's, that start the fire is the missing troops that never return to their home kingdoms. Keep talking. I will definitely keep talking. <laughs> what are you talking about? What if survivors of the missing troop show up? You mean... Yes, someone gave me a list of all the soldiers sent to Embria for aid. The list, two names caught my attention. Fodka Typhoon and Fodka Swordmaster. They are Rosalia and Lilia's allies. They were each sent to Shikshel and Jormun when the formation went wrong. I see, I noticed their disappearance, but at the moment, the, sweaty, the situation required me to focus on the battle. Now that we can play the survivor cards, the fundamental justification behind the invasion doesn't stand anymore. This can at very last secure us negotiation within the besiegers. Rita told me the two aid force were led by Vodka Typhoon and Vodka Swordmaster, but I never met the connection. Even so, it still puzzled me that the two kingdoms should put our field aside and send a soldier to our rescue. Mm. As for Lilia, tell us why. Lilia gobbled down a big steam bun and cleared her throat. The army predator was hesitant about helping Embria. After all, we have the Shikshel first policy. But she told us the three kingdoms were left on the same branch of Embria's peril would be felt by all. I see. But even if negotiation is possible, the disastrous aftermath of the food explosion won't be ignored. To put myself in their shoes, I never withdraw my siege simply because the misunderstanding has been cleared. About this, call me. A private word, please. Lilia, I think Captain and Call Me were staring at us all the time. Nothing serious. Let's get fat first. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I look at you guys not because of something. But a few days later, Captain has been packing back and forth of for an eternity. He must be anxious. It's been three days since the letter was delivered. Has still no reply from the allied force. I'm worried that it's out of our hand now and worrying doesn't help. Apart from the desert munching or desert munching twins over there, you're perhaps the only one who can still remain calm. Anxiety and impatience are enemies of nurturing good character. I am so sorry then. Cut and read a book to restore your inner peace. I, a, what is a book? A, a snack? Is, is a book a snack? I then heard a string of hasty footsteps coming close. Your Majesty, the Ari Prater and Corridor Queen have sent word. See, like I told you. She took the letter and opened it. A few moments later, she put the letter away and looked at me. So, the next day, the command of the Allied Force. Should I inform the Grand Chancellor and Teresa? No need. Tell them to continue the evacuation. It's a big gamble for us. If the negotiation goes south, not west, east or north. North? Can I say that? You know what will happen. I know, even if it comes to the wars, I can still earn some time for the evacuation. But you don't have to fight with me. It's too late for me to back away now. Let's finish what we start, shall we? After all, it's me that led Hodo into the sea and start the chain reaction. Beside, besides, having you is only part of my plan. Himeko and Fuhua also need my help. I still remember the dumb found me standing on the cold and blood stained stairs before the Oh, that part. I want to scream, but my throat was too sore to allow it. Yeah, because I've been reading all of this stuff. So yeah, maybe they need to make voice over next time. I want to cry when my eyes were filled up by saddle blood. Okay, that one I don't have any comment. I want to question the murderer, but her burning vengeance sealed my lips. In the end, even the murderer died in my arms. Oh yeah, I now remember, yeah, to take vengeance uh, for Rita, right? Kong Ming actually do something to Fu Hua and Himeko, and in the end, she got poisoned. Oh no, the first thing, or the first part that I cry on. Like a drunk person desperately struggling to hold on to something. I tried to get to the bottom of the tragedies. Back then, I couldn't see whole picture of what a happy ending for everyone. But it's all different now. Captain? Uh, what? Let's go. Rosella and Lilia get prepared. Coming? Hmm? I'll make it work. Trust me. It worked. 
the comment was uh, at the border and all right this is a border well it seems like more like a cave or pirate cave but you know what yeah the vanguard has siege moon embryo but the comment was still at the border that sent a very sub subtle message the comment was in cave rather than a camp that is part of the legacy left by photos explosion oh the snow on the great plain of Shikshal had all melted, and half the kingdom went underwater. And the tide riding pirates of German were turned into cave dwellers. Not your fault, Captain. Hodor threatened all of the realm, and it's impossible to contain its damage. If you didn't let Hodor into the sea, and I didn't active the Guardian formation, we'd be seeing more miseries. Yeah, I agree. If we didn't do that, actually, the explosion will cost more than what happen right now i know i know all but still hmm a snarl uh put an end to our conversation where are they reached the depth of the cave i look around and for german threat co commodities i almost say uh, something like anyway randomly pile up in the corner i'm about to say uh what is it called it when someone make a joke uh oh comedian i almost say that the leader of the allied force measured us up with cold eyes. On making eye contact, a trace of surprise flashed over each of their faces. But they soon resumed calm and fixed their unfriendly eyes on Kongi. Well, well, the legendary first grand series in the flash. What an honor. You played us like a fiddle, master strategist. A thousand years of wisdom on a little girl that could look more than twelve? Who'd have thought? Well, again, this girl... That, that could look more than 12 is um, my favorite, so you shush. You know I'm elder, but you don't respect me as one. I've heard a lot about heroic second cor cor corsair queen, but I have to say it turned out to be disappointment. You, enough, we're not here for a pity argument. She actually looked nice, wow. I like it, that armor is look pretty nice. Come here, you should have said what you've done to German on the way here. You should have seen. And I I have to plug your courage waltzing in here with only three guards. Or maybe in your eyes we are no more than a pack of bandits that pose no threat to you. With the last word, the Iron Predator threw a punch on the walls. The ground quack rubble fell. The cave trembled all over the impact. Iron Predator, your reputation has long preceded. You and I'd say the world justify. I'll be candid. What? I have two goals. One if is to to prove my innocence and the other one is to ensure the empire's survival i'll cut it too i'm afraid none of your wish will be granted today he may corsair queen <clears throat> sorry this is just thousand era i anyway please remain calm shikshal and german suffering all came from photo's explosion but the beast is not embrace fault and you are here because you believe embrace deferred the damage to german so what not what, but why. I don't intend to question your judgment, but there was no such diversion. Captain, you're adding insult to injury. Well, again, you can, I don't know, heal that injury, so it's like, you're crossing the line here. If you fail to produce valid evidence, it takes remedy to convince you, not evidence. I fully understand your motivation to hold Embria accountable. But what if Embria is also a victim? That is a lie. Yes, Embra suffered the first when Hodo broke loose, but we dispatched troops to your rescue as soon as we heard. How did our kindness repay us? Our soldiers are missing, and Hodo's explo explosion shifts the terrain of German and Chichel forever. While Embra sustained some losses, but your existence was never threatened. I say that's evidence enough. Please hear me out. Let me tell you the truth. Why Embra alone survived the Hodo explosion? Hodo is a ferocious beast I sealed a thousand years ago with the help of my embryon friends. For the past millennium, I have been reinforcing the seal and I naturally understand the beast rage toward embryo. For instance, I deployed the guardian formation across embryo during my early travels. Only I can active the formation and it's the only thing that kept embryo from collapsing in the explosion. Oh, that is why I see. Still, I under underestimate the beast. The formation deployed over centuries crumbled like a paper in the explosion. If not so, you won't be able to march to Moon Embryo without much resistance. She is telling the truth. Yes, let's go!
don't fall for her lies. Okay then. Her eyes tell me she's not lying. Would you look at that? These are eyes of a protector. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But what about our missing soldiers? Where have they gone? I ask Lillian Roselia because I don't know. It simply doesn't make sense because, like we said in the letter, the troop didn't reach Embria and our envoy didn't make it back as well. I personally received the Embrian envoy and he was with the dispatch Shikshul soldiers. Same here. Yes, it happened on the way to Embria. We are yet to figure out what exactly happened, but the survivor's word might carry some weight. If not for a survivor mentioned in your letter, we never have this conversation. Well then, Rosalia and Lilia, tell us what you have been through. Uh, we were about to save Kongming, but we ran to some villager whose, you know, village was taken by monsters. But why are you actually whispering? Wait a minute, I just realized that. Why did you whisper? But there were too many of these monsters and we couldn't beat them. We got trapped here and there's no way out. Uh, we met some villagers asking for help too. We want to help, but more monsters came at us. Fledgers in both stories. That does sound suspicious. But how can we be sure the twin haven't betrayed us and made up the story? And the twin cannot actually keep any secret, so yeah. After the explosion, the German sea dried out and all ships were beached. Uh, the fisher had to abandon their homes and settle in the cave. At this time of year, the Na are still cold and many of them have no shelter, no food. We have lost everything, but we have to live on. We are born fisher and plowing the land isn't in our blood. How are we supposed to make a living then? Till now, most of our houses are flooded and our farmland has all gone to waste. No crops can be grown again. The two kingdoms are living hell now. Even if you told the truth, we cannot simply retreat and wait for death. I understand your rage and desperation. That's why I told you it takes remedy to convince you, not evidence. Please take a look at this. The Great Cyrus has prepared a systematic relief plan to copy the damage. Embraer will provide Shikshul with the blueprint of the wind power. I don't know what is that. Yes, it can faster, uh, fasten evaporation and drainage. Meanwhile, Embraer will support the reconstruction with the latest tech. For German, please read this page. Embraer will provide 5,000 mobile houses to shelter the homeless. Mobile houses? Will your house turn off? I doubt you can re- really, del- 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 really deliver. Can I talk today? I do not know. Please rest assured, cor- the, uh, I need to stop reading a word that I cannot read. This type of house is easy and fast to build but can last long years. When did Embraer prepare all this? They sound like invention from another world. Uh, um, uh, um, no, they were not prepared for the occasion. The Grand Series developed them long ago for Teriri con- Concert. Oh, <laughs> I see. The wind tower can drain off the water on rainy day. The mobile house are for fans queuing up for a signature. Oh, queuing. That's interesting. Interesting. If we cannot uh, fit our kingdoms, all your promises are no more than lip service. Well, it's a service, you know. We have just the answer for that. The twin found a nourishing staple in the valley that rips in for money. Rosalia, Lilia, they are still eating. And yeah, the other one also eating. Ahem, <laughs> it's exactly what they are having. It's named Golden Potato. There are some back one for you to taste. It smells good and tastes delicious. But we are out of time. Shikshul will be kingdom of carbs when it ripes. A rip. Don't worry. If our peace uh, treaty goes through, Embraer will supply enough food to feed your people for four months. And still, when Honkai Kingdom, both of you actually, or both of your faction, double team us. Now we are helping you. This hurt. How much food do you think is needed to sustain four months? That's ridiculous. How about eight million tons? I signal coming with a seemingly casual side glance, and she gave me a nod that is almost unnoticeable. Yeah, he make also looking nice. Here. Fine, eight million tons, not a gram shot. What? Captain, this is not child play. I'm not child. First, there um, again, Lily and Rosalia are still a child. Second, yeah, I know this is not a child play because both of you are, and also Kong Ming, thousand years. Anyway, empty promise will cost you dearly. Well, I never play with fire when it comes to diplomacy. Besides, Embryo will. Dr- 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 the weather course in three years. We will unite. 
will build traffic hub and lead international threat to prosperity. Embra will also freely share the latest technology so that all three kingdoms can benefit equally from progress. Mm-hmm. If you sign the treaty today, peace and prosperity across the realm will become reality in no time. What do you think? Uh, I need more convincing than sweet words. Before I could further explain, a huge boom sent the whole cave shivering with fa- uh, falling rocks. What happened? Thunderous monster roar were felt all through the cave. But the Iron Brain and Cross Arquid didn't even blink. They are here again? I'll lead the soldier to attack them from behind. These monsters are outrageous. Never know when to give up. Wait, what actually happened? Today is the day for them to learn the hard lesson. Wait, what happened? Oh, it seems like I will also use both of them. Never mind. What is this? Oh, Vermilion Night Eclipse. Interesting. Let's fight. Whoa, this is... Okay, again I love whenever I'm fighting and the other character is actually helping and also deal damage. Yeah, usually in other... Anyway, uh, whatever the character like this, right? They do not deal any damage. So yeah, this is interesting. And I love to do this. Let's go, I'm not alone. And also this kids, this is Familiar Knight. Luckily, I know how to use them. Or use her actually on them, because I only use... Whoa. Luckily, it's just a giant elephant that, I don't know, standing in two, um, black. Not a dog. Wait a minute. There's actually a dog, uh, walking with two legs, which scared me. Sunday is coming. Um, what it is? Uh, this must be the Beast King. Oh. Uh, Sorted Beast. Okay. You are indeed look like, uh, the King. And also, you are sort of a little bit actually tanky but I believe I can defeat you but okay there you go nice keep doing the circle yep as long as you know I do not use it's fine there you go and we are oh come on I about to end you okay let them you okay there you go I don't need to evade yeah let her freeze this easy again luckily uh, they actually you know the NPC or, you know, the bot actually deal damage, so that is nice. With a mighty blow from the Corsair to the Queen, the monster beat the dust. Where were we just now? After the chaos, the cave became an even bigger mess. The Corsair Queen pulled over a crate and sat down casually. Well, you have all seen what German has turned into now. Captain, terms sound tempting, but they are too little too late. We have a conclusion now, and there is no need to talk more. Guard, escort our guests. The Corsair Queen snapped her finger and the next moment, we were surrounded by fierce looking pirates. Wait, if Nara disappear, how will you handle it then? Nonsense. Yama, Armorphus, and Hodo, they, they are not wild animals you run into every day. Hold on, you mean there are other beasts like Hodo that may r- ravage the realm? Captain saw it with his own eyes. Do you know why? Captain will return here years later. I'm listening. Oh, it seems like we got their attention. Nice. Captain roamed the realm and visited a secret place. Oh, this is actually not a secret stuff. <laughs> oh, I see. I thought this was... Okay then. We are riding on the cliff tell the legend of the Ten Beasts. Cheongchi, the first and fiercest of the Ten, has the resemblance of Tiger and Eagle. They send every few centuries. Exactly. Have you two heard about this beast? It does exist. You have heard about it too? Yes, there, uh, there are sexual folk tales that speak of similar beasts. Well then, the Iron Brother must know how to, uh, how destructive the beast can be. After Hodo, I saw the ominous sign of a red moon. Hodo is only harbinger of the true savagery. Thousand years ago, Embryo slain Yama, Armorphos, and Silk Hodo. Coming now, the beast better than everyone. You can overturn Embryo today, but when another beast comes, what will your chance be? And your missing soldiers are still trapped in the valley. Embryo can help find them if a deal is struck today. I understand you're fighting for your justice, but no one has anything to gain from this nasty war. Bot became silent. Aha! You guys are in the corner! Can I count? Uh, can I count on you about the eight million ton of rice in a month? You have my word. 
well, if we don't see the food aid in a month, there, uh, this treaty will be nullified and our rage will burn down everything. Fair enough, but you retreat tonight from Embria. If we deliver on our end, you must fully honor the terms. Paper and brush, pen were pe present, the term were written down and signed by the three parties. Well, that is it. I hope you can be trust founder of Embria. Embria will honor the pact. With a sign treaty, Komi and I left the comment and soon returned the moon Embria. Uh, but how about Lilia and Rosalia? Does that mean? Well, can I talk? Does that mean both of them, uh, going back? Will they actually follow us? Rom the route, Komi. I didn't know you are such an elegant liar. Oh, never mind. That is not true. I thought that. Alrighty then. <laughs> and the feeling is mutual. By the way, did you read some astrology books? Even I was almost fooled by you. Oh, I was simply imitating your way of speaking. You... Call his fan hit my head before I could dodge. Ouch. That should put an end to it. What do you mean, my head or my life? What do you mean, end of it? What? My heart felt much lighter now. Turkus a relief. A flurry of hurried footsteps sound. I stopped and saw Rita and Teresa rushing over with worried faces. Your Majesty took too much risk venturing over the border if we didn't make it on time. Well, we have returned safe and sound. Coming led in front while Rita and Teresa followed her closely, I sighed softly in relief behind their backs. Who are they just ignore me and that hurt me? And also... The guard told us your, uh, you promised 8 million ton of rice in a month in exchange for peace, is it true? Yep, so you'll have to eat dust today. I mean, 8 million tons? That's the entirety of our stock. How could we manage to feed our people then? In fact, I was about to explain when the robotic voice sound again at this very inconvenient time. Countdown, teleporting, terminating. No, no, what? Not again, not now. Why, this is already a good mood. Come on! No! 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 Overwhelming blackness took away my consciousness in no time. I'm panicking. The last image I saw was their silhouette under the high moon. No! 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 Why you? My consciousness came back. I heard scattered footsteps and I saw the almost too familiar wooden screen. Some handmaids passed by. I wobbled to get on my feet and try to ask them what happened. Excuse me, is Kong Ming? No one paid me any heed. They rush past with anxious face. No, Kong Ming is not. No, not again. No, 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 no. A strong faintness overwhelmed me. I took a deep breath and began to spring to the center of the palace. <gasps> Let's go. My head was a mess. I couldn't help thinking about what I had done wrong and how could I make it right again. It's a long, long way when I finally reached my hand to the door. My hand was quivering all over. That is enough. I won't be able to lift my legs with this on. Should we try? I want to try it too. Loud laughter came from behind the door. I pushed the door open, not knowing what to expect. Captain, where have you been? Why are you all so surprised? What happened? And also the the music actually it's like a happy music, not sad music. So it seems like and also their face not I don't know giving us something like something bad happened. So I think everything went well. Mannerless fool, you left without a word and now you swagger in like nothing has happened. Oh, so does that mean they cannot hear Tesla's voice as well as soon as we got teleport? That's why don't ignore me next time. That's why next time, pay me a hit. The four of us were talking a walk, uh, taking a walk, and you simply vanished in a poof of smoke. You could have given us a notice. Well, if I could, actually, if you know, Miss Tesla did not just teleport me, I will actually say, I'll be right back. Push and that. Their transgression and insolence call for proper punishment. Waterboarding, public shaming, or flogging. What's on your mind, Your Majesty? Rita gave me a weak smile and Koming studied my reaction with great curiosity. Wait, what? Never mind, since you have returned, I'll graciously forgive your misconduct. Wait, does Koming already know who we are then? Well, Your Majesty certainly wasn't gracious when you were stamping the floor for captains missing earlier. Hmm, it never happened. Look like Captain is spared. Man. Come on, you aren't being uh, you aren't being serious, R right? Are you are you serious about that part? Rita, let's follow through the plan. 
I got ignored again. Sure, Captain. Please excuse us for a moment. Hmm, what plan? They retreat uh, to the inner room. After a flurry of chuckles, Kaomi's voice passed over. Wait, Rita, I'm not wearing this flower. It's too childish. Your Majesty is the latest fa uh, fa uh, fashion. Can I? Can I? Anyway, it compliments your dress like nothing else. Here, let me do it for you. Look how fabulous you are, Your Majesty. Why are you blushing? I want to see. Give me. Let me see. Uh, please be still. Come on, let me see. Don't put me. It's tickling. When I couldn't be more confused, Rita let out a soft chuckle again. All right, it's finished. Captain, take a guess now. Which one is come? Yeah, tell. I. Oh, the right one. The right one is Kong Ming because Kong Ming being dressed with a flower, right? Okay, guess it. The right one. Yay, I'm right. Come on, it's too easy. Of course, it's... Um, the right one. Captain, remember, we they just talking about a flower and it's tickling. Stop teasing, Captain, now. It's almost time. Fine, I'll get dressed. Captain, how does it look on me? Yeah, I am right. There you go. I am coming is... Um, I don't have good work. Everything that I'll say or continue going to be a little bit bad for me. It look bad? You are pretty. Ah, no. I was loose for work because you're prettiness. This dress is uh, specially tailored for cheesy. Captain, you are so insensitive. It looks very nice, actually. Never mind. I don't care about your opinion. Still, you have no excuse to be unprepared for the special occasion. I just, I don't know, teleport here. How can I be prepared for that? What? As Kong Ming spoke, she fixed a jade amulet to my belt. <gasps> this will do for now. It's time for us to set up. <gasps> this is pretty. Where to? Why? The lantern fair, of course. Oh, it sounds like lantern, right? We'll watch the lantern show and pray for good fortune with the people of Embria. Let us go. I really wish they actually show us like a picture, but yeah, they are doing that also interesting. Star Pavilion is fast, we were good. Every house was decorated with color glaze. We are seeing a lot of new and beautiful lantern tonight. Yes, a few days ago, Craftsman came and he is said to be a master of lantern. Maybe we can invite him to tell us. That won't be necessary. Stop showing me that face. A river of lantern flew with a passing crowd. The three girls ha were having a rarely good time in the festive scene. But for me, everything looked unreal. It's all too good to be true. No, don't say that. That's famous last word. Uh -huh. How are things going with, you know? Thanks to Captain, Fred has opened up and the three kingdoms are entering a mutually beneficial relationship. We hand our seed rice to the farmer on the peace talk day. And exactly one month later, new crop were harvested. It only took one day to, or, oh no, one month, one month. Okay, never mind. Well, the credit goes to the boost crop developed by Kong Ming. It rips in a month. That's mind-blowing magic. Oh, and also, yeah, it's in one month. I'm surprised because it's in one month. Why did I suddenly like, oh yeah, that's normal. Kong Ming came up with a lot of new stuff at the ruins. Uh, at the ruins, and the Imperial Repository almost cannot hold them all. There's use for each and every one of them. Stop with that smug face. I, for some reason, just make me like, your cheek, I want to... As we spoke, the Wagons had taken us to the center of Moon Embria. Wooden towers stood uh, out among all the shops and houses. Numerous lanterns danced to the rhythm of the wind. That's probably the star pavilion they talked about. Are you looking at the tall building over there? What's where the prayer will be held tonight? Prayers? It's a tradition of the em empire. Every cheesy night, the people parade the city and pray for happiness and prosperity. In my eyes, these festivals are only meant to serve people's selfish desires. Oh. We had Tang Yuan and Lantern Festival and claim, climb mountains on double night, double double ninth. Must do activity for every festival. Come in support her head with one hand and cheek and check the passing crowd uh, with indifferent tired eyes. Well, even so, this special day do give us reason to reunite for a pleasant time, don't they? In a festive atmosphere, even normal fuse and mundane activities may bring a fresh taste. 
Is it so? Last time someone say something about when whenever Teresa do that. Coming to to uh, what? In disapproval, and I turn away from the awkwardness, and we're going to come to a stop short. We have arrived! Yay! With the barrel guards lined up on the side, coming walk Rita and Teresa to the star pavilion. I'll leave it to you too. Are you sure not to come along? Citizen of Munembria heard you, uh, your return and will be honored by your presence. The truth is, the long years at the altar have wa uh, washed away my memory of the ceremony. Teresa can host it better. As you wish then, please take care of Her Majesty Captain. You're welcome! I mean, eh, why, why, why me? Rita and Teresa can have all the overlay, uh, sophisticated ceremony and speech. Wait, coming will Komichi say something like, "You are the captain from thousand years ago, right?" Why don't we join the crowd, uh, to have some fun? Huh? The next moment, I forcibly drag my coming a hey, into the sea of people. Hey, this will call for a day. So many people here to see the boat parade. Good thing they're all high tail boats today. I can at last uh, see the orchid lantern hanging at the stern. Why don't you sit on my shoulder and see the whole picture? I know she is that small, but yeah, that will be nice actually. No sooner had I finished my work than a fan slap hit my shoulder. Ow! Hmm. The parade is for people like you who haven't seen much of the world, and I have seen it very single year. But the childlike joy on her face betrayed her pretend poise. Is that supposed to be voice? Her eyes could hardly leave the lanterns. Yes, the picture that I want to see! Finally! That is cute! Okay, that's the reason I want to see something like this. Anyway, it's Feng Sweet Shop. I want red bean mochi and sugar hops. Huh? I thought you had been here many times and you must have plenty of this before. So does that mean you always do something cute like this? Sure, and that's why I know what tastes good and what doesn't. And you've got to taste smiley face at the cheesy fair. A grand parade of oil, flour, sugar, and honey. Yeah, I got it. Tell me what you want, and I'll go get them for you. Sweet milk balls. <clears throat> sorry, some, something stuck in my throat. And red beans mochi. Three of each. Okay, let's ignore that. Osmentos pudding. Double uh, pudding, double sugar, and two rubbing. Can I really stomach that much? Wait, have you finished? Come in, look up at me, point at the crystal cake stand, and begin to play cute with her big, watery eyes. You know I cannot handle cute stuff. How dare you do this to me? Mr. Assassin, please? Wait. Wait, so does, does she know about this or no? I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah, why not? Huh? What did you just call me? Yeah, she actually found us. Or she realized it as soon as we, I don't know, appear again. And also, yeah, I knew it. So, yeah. We are also surprised. So, come ignore me, hand me all the dessert. And before I got a firm grip, she had dragged me to the next shop. Hey, sugar figures over there. Come on, before there's nothing left for us. If someone that's so cute and saying something like that, my heart will like, uh, you fine, I'll do it. So, yeah, and also. That is just cute, and I cannot do anything more. Weird. This is weird. Yeah, she is unmistakably coming, but right now she feels insanely different. Is it the festive atmosphere? Well, I certainly won't mind if her happy-go-lucky side can last. Are you happy now? <laughs> happy what? I couldn't stand your long face all the way, so I decided to tease you a bit. As much as I hate to be teased by someone, I, if with the cuteness, yeah, why not? Now you are grinding like an. Mm -hmm. I hope you are not getting any wrong ideas. Well, you are the one that do that. So like you know, come here, fold the paper cover of the freshly steamed mutton bun, blow it slightly colder, and begin to enjoy it. Well then, cute is cute, and I'll keep saying cute. Underneath the flower lantern, her face had a rosy sheen that could be easily mistaken for a flush. Come on, the happier one of us is definitely. Who? Who is it? Kami is called Gaze Frost My Tongue. Um, oh, the sugar figures are ready! Won't you look at that? The two shiny sugar figures hand over by the master camp to my rescue and divert Kami's attention. 
Two funny looking sugar figures, to be honest. Coming couldn't help but burst into laughter. Hey, drop that look. We are not thinking these two figures look like us, are you? They are in our likeness, because I say so. Now let's check out the other side. Kalmin nipped at the figure while watching the lantern, and I was following her closely with two hands full. As the parade fleet from by, thousands of lanterns lit up the sky like the stars. The whole world had gone festive. So yeah, Kalmin already know who we are, so it's good, it's good. Lanterns. Fabulous lanterns. A reasonable price. With bells tickling, a lantern craftsman holding a black umbrella chant as he passed us by. Black Umbrella That must be the Lantern Master Teresa talked about. This lantern will look really nice, but I feel something is lacking. What? You expect them to fly like birds? No, I expect them fly like an uh, airplane. No, it's not what I meant. Well, that won't be too hard. Captain, are you up for a little challenge? Uh, I guess... maybe? What it is? Coming to run and her eyes shone bright like a star's, not diamond this time. We'll mail lantern that can fly like a bird. Ooh, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, okay, this is the- what? Stylus Rogers. Okay then. Wait, what? Wait, what actually happened? Why are we fighting monster? Come on, this is happy moment. Stop with the- We have already got pepper and rosy, let's get some bamboos or bamboos from the forest. Why did I say bamboos? Bamboos! Wait, will we actually meet a monster and we will fight instead? And also looking... Yeah, she is... <laughs> she is running cute. That is cute. I... I really wish sometimes I was a girl so I can keep saying cute. You know? I'm a boy so I hope it sounds like, you know... Not weird. You never know when someone thinks about something or other people thinking about someone saying this kind of stuff like... How okay, they don't have the wrong or mistaken? Coming. What is it? Oh. Where will, do you want to make a skull lantern all of a sudden? Of course not, it's just... I just thought of an old promise. It's the promise with us. Last time when she or the story where I literally cry, she actually flew the lantern. Yes, that part. Now I remember from Hontan Kingdom story. I I like actually how uh, they link, even though there's two different stuff. But yeah, I love how they just link this together. And also every time uh, she say Tempuku Unsui, I like it. Let me check how many bamboos we've already collected. Five. Let's get some more. Captain. I don't feel like it right now. I. Should, can, can we? Um, uh, I hope nothing gone wrong. I really don't like this moment at all. This should be enough. Thank you, Captain. Then we uh, whittle the bamboo and this red. Okay, since like when we're collecting bamboo, there's no actually monster. So yeah, this is just from the game, not from the real or when the story happened. There's actually no monster. So good, never mind. I like this part. Or I love the story right now. Still like how she run. Uh, this place is beautiful. Let's make the sky lantern here, Captain. Okay, let me make it. Ready then. Uh, le le let's, let's make it. Let's make it. Come in, spread the thin paper, crop into five equal parts, and carefully place them on the bamboo tree. Oh, will she actually uh, say something or say the same stuff when it's like, Mr. Assassin, I will sacrifice myself. Something like that. I mean, not now, not now. Or in this story, she won't say that. But yeah, in the last Attack Kingdom part, she wants to sacrifice herself. So she don't want us to get hurt. That's why she flew this lantern. And the cake that we eat make us fall asleep. Yeah, that's the last part. Will she actually notice or say something that, I don't know, bring us back to that moment? It's been a long time since I did this. I'm not sure if I can still make it work. It will fly. And yeah, it will fly. Technically, uh, technically as long as the paper hot and the rosin burns, it can keep ascending. 
come in squint at me and chuckle. I could let you recite more of the high school physics I learned to sound right. The look on your face is precious when you try to explain something like a teacher. Yeah, it's so hard to explain. But tonight is the last night you stay here, right? Huh? I didn't say so. You say nothing, but it's written all over your face. Wait, is it? Wait, who just write something on my face? I need to complain. I've been working on my formation these three months with the hope of sending you back to your world. I knew you'd leave someday, but it's much sooner than I expected. Alright, we might as well enjoy the last night. We have Lantern Ferry every year, but this time it's different. Captain, can you see the tower over there? In a while, Rita and Teresa will ascend the tower and hold prayer for good fortune shared by all MDM. I followed Kongming's eye and found the majestic tower. Captain, do you think our prayer will reach the star thousand of miles above us? Didn't know what to answer, but Kongmi didn't seem to mind either. She adjusts the skeleton so the lantern can fly. Ske skeleton? Oh, oh, the, the, oh. Okay, it's done. Maybe you can write a wish on the skeleton, and it will bring your wish to the stars. The lantern fire twinkled like a star, putting a soft glow on her somewhat wishful face. She handed the lantern to me. Do you have a wish to write on the lantern? Huh? For real? Let me think. More view on YouTube and uh, Twitch. Uh, yeah. Video and stream. Think it's a part of the celebration. Maybe the festive atmosphere does indeed make it special. That sounds familiar. Alright, I won't tease you more. Take your time while I return to the Star Pavilion for a brush pen. Um, how far is it? I'll go with you. No need. I'll take the shortcut and be back soon. Besides, you cannot walk fast holding the lantern in the crowd. The problem is I scared something will happen. That's why I said I will go with you. Just wait for me here and I'll be back before you know it. We actually let Kongming go. No. Kongming smiled as she... And she... Uh, Kongming smiled as she walked across the timber bridge and disappeared in bamboo grove. What should my wish be? World peace? Nah, it's too unoriginal. Suddenly back to Hyperion, that sound better. Forget it, no need to take it seriously. It won't grant my wish like the golem anyway. But what took Kongmin so long? I'll go find her. I took the shortcut to the city with my hand protecting the lantern from the crowd and my eyes searching for her. Noise from the fair passed over. On the ornate tower, tens of hang flower lantern were dancing with the wind. But the next instant... Oh gosh, bang! The beam stumbled and Star Pavilion was set on fire. The spark hit the trees nearby and the city turned red. Okay, that's wrong button. I didn't mean to press that. I meant to press this. I began to sprint. Heavy smoke engulfed the city and the beastful cheesy lantern fair turned to a disaster movie. The blow around the tower was full wooden structures. And that allowed the fire run wild unstoppably. Coming! Rita! Teresa! Where are you? Stay clear! This area is locked down and contain the fire. Do not approach. You, have you seen Kong Ming? The guard are searching. Are you sure Her Majesty is here? She returned to the Star Pavilion for a pen. Let me through. I'll find her. No, you shall not pass. Get out of here. I am higher than you. Let me go. The guard blocked my path and held my arms. A wriggled free and dashed through the fire. Kong Ming, as I ran to a wall of fire and tried to get around it, a burnout beam crumbled and hit hard on my back. But I could feel no pain, as if all my senses had been severed. All I could hear was their names ringing in my head. I will save you, each and every one of you. Please just step back. Do you have that wish or something? Yeah, I'm higher than you. Shut up. The tower is on fire and no one can make it out. We found lots of explosives southwest of the tower. Someone may have planned them. Watch out. Back off, back off. Everyone, back off. No one can make it out. Lots of explosives. Cries, scream, and other noise surge into my ears. But my world has quieted down in absolute silence. Absolute. I thought I had direct history to happy ending, but everything I built fell apart once more in a wing like a house of cards. It's collapsing. Run! Keep away from it. Then crowd rushed by and pushed me away from the fire. I reached out my hand, but the only thing I caught was air. No, it's not over. It can't be over yet. Miss Arafis, if I can find her, there is still a chance to turn it around. 
the crowd were in my way, the guard were in my way, the fire was in my way, everything is on my way, even the air is going to be in my way. Something inedible was holding me back like a rising tide. I had no choice but to throw myself head first into it. I grabbed the rail on the side to steady myself and slowly push myself against the crowds. Having passed the guard, I began to make the desperate run to the center of the palace. If I had known it earlier, if I stopped coming from returning to the Star Pavilion, if I disarm the bombs, if I go with her, but I can still turn back time and make things right, right? The fire had not reached home its room and fumbled my way to Miss Iron Fist in the dense smoke. Like a desert traveler finding a bottle of water, I clutched over a cold metal fist without any care for the electric shock. Positioning anchor complete. Initiating transfer. This time, I'll make it right. This time, I'll save everyone. In my blur vision, a burning crossbeam fell down over my head. Everything went to dust in the sea of fire. So yeah, there you go. Like I said in the past, everything. First, right, Rita. Second, Kong Ming, and the this one will be everyone. I knew it. But yeah, we, we, we can still change this. We will turn the tide around. I promise. But yeah, in the last part, we'll save everything and everyone. Red bean mochi. Right in it. I didn't go to the lantern fair tonight. I caught a bad cold during the northern expedition years ago and seem to be suffering a relapse these days. Rita forced me to rest in bed. The festive noise from the fair and the fact that I couldn't be a part of it tormented me. Just when I was, uh, what? Oh, come on, stop doing that. What is wrong with you? Uh, what is it again? Just when I was hatching a, se a scheme to distract the bodyguard and sneak out, Rita suddenly came back with some red bean mochi. They didn't taste like the one from Fang's sweet shop that I used to have. She must have met them herself. I'm not surprised Rita's mochi tastes even better. So this is her letter. That actually scared me for a bit, or not for a bit actually, that just jump scared me, I immediately jumped as soon as that explosive happened. I like how she said Mr. Assassin, please, that actually, yeah. And also, I, I don't like the fair firework and against the curb. I'm going to cry the next part I guess, but yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, my stream still continue. But with that, there go the day you finish with the stars. Seems like there's still a lot we need to do actually. It's still like someone actually still have revenge. We still haven't find who the culprit behind all of this. But with that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And also if you want to tune into my stream, you can go to twitch.tv slash i16x. And don't forget to follow me when you are here. With that being said, as always, I'll see all of you on the next part of the day you finish with the stars event. Pretty long, but yeah. I'll see all of you next time.